Oh Wesh Il vole le truc Welcome back everyone, today's episode features grand heist levels of robbery. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's hop right back into it with Alex5 with a little correct and redirect. Red team is for sure on Baron here, but if we look at their team, they're also going for catch with Pike and Zed, which means there should be at least three people on Baron. That no. Wait. Oh my God! Let's go! Oh my... Let's go! No. But as we see here, there was four and oh, there's Graves. Well, they definitely could have used that DPS. Oh my oh God! God. <laughs> this is like the sketchiest Baron attempt of all time. Blue Team's jungler is bot lane and there's no pink ward nor sweepers available in this pit. Beautiful snipe by Andy though. Next up, check out Aurora Wolf's build. Five stacks of poison and that EP expunge can easily contest a smite. Spectator mode is a little bugged, but look at blue team's base. All that remains is one inhib and the nexus, but there is one gateway back into the game and Scoots holds the key. Now this is just impressive. Luna wards over the wall to find Iyasu and a Cho'gath doing dragon. Here you can see they even smite early to give Cho'gath the feast, but it looks like Luna's timing is just better. <laughs> but you can actually do anything with these like players. Let me kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Let me, why are you there? I think he knows. <laughs> I killed him again!
Don't, don't, go don't, in, don't, we, don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. Do not be fooled, this is a support Sejuani. Looks like Evelyn Smite is down too, so this is dangerous territory. Side note, I love how Kha'Zix is just casually doing blue. Catch that, Trundle ended up smiting Aurora Wolf instead of securing the Drake. Next up, Blue Team is playing this 4v5 since their Cassiopeia is AFK, but they're not super far behind and Orn refuses to give up without a fight. Oh my god, it played! Thank you for the leash, that's a casual 775 AD on Jin right there. Next up, speaking of leashes, if we look at the map, Master Yi the jungler is trying for some hero in hit backdoor play, while his team tries to sneak this Baron away. What? You can't, maybe, maybe not. That's not true.
There's so much teamwork in this play, Kha'Zix and Ari manage to pop over the wall with the Shen ult to wipe the enemy team and steal Elder Dragon. This is only possible because they managed the wave mid, so neither Zoe nor the minion wave could spot them sweeping their way behind enemy lines. Perfect timing too, Lilia also received the Baron. Next up, I don't know what it is with all these hero yees, but yeah, that was their jungler. Tony Wiggy Tony doesn't have a smite either, but with no jungler on either side, it's still a massive coin flip. Nice, nice. No shot, you took that. No shot, no shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ashter Yi, look at you, Bojo. Check out this perfect timing in slow-mo. Poppy smites the dragon with 17 health left to spare, and Aurelia catches her with the stun mid-hammer swing. That is going to do it for today's episode all on steals. Remember to drop a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you want to see some more. Until next time, thank you all so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next episode.